Walt Disney introducing the dwarfs in the trailer of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Seven Dwarfs are a group of seven fictional dwarfs that appear in the 1812 fairy tale Snow White and other renditions and adaptations. The Seven Dwarfs are a group of seven dwarfs that live in a tiny cottage and work in the nearby mines. Snow White happens upon their house after being told by the huntsman to flee from the Queen's kingdom. The Seven Dwarfs return home and immediately notice someone has snuck in, because the house has been cleaned. During their loud discussion, they discover the sleeping Snow White. She wakes up and explains to them what happened. The dwarves take pity on her, saying, If you will keep house for us, and cook, make beds, wash, sew, and knit, and keep everything clean and orderly, then you can stay with us. And you shall have everything that you want. They warn her to be careful when alone at home, and to not let anyone in while they are delving in the mountains. When the queen, disguised as an old peddler, ties a colorful, silk bodice onto Snow White, it causes her to faint. The seven dwarfs return just in time and Snow White is saved when the dwarfs cut the lace. When the queen dresses as a comb seller, she gives Snow White a poison comb, but the seven dwarfs save her again. The queen then appears disguised as a farmer's wife and gives Snow White a poisoned apple, of which she consumes and seemingly dies. This time, the seven dwarfs are unable to revive the girl, because they can't find the source of Snow White's poor health and, assuming that she is dead, they place her in a glass coffin. After some time has passed, a prince traveling through the land sees Snow White where he strides to her coffin, and instantly falls in love with her upon being enchanted by her beauty. As the prince transports her body back to his castle, her coffin is hit hard and a large piece of apple in her throat is released and thus revives her. The prince marries Snow White. A Disney version of the Seven Dwarfs, also called Disney Dwarfs as a potential Disney consumer product slash Disney Toon Studios franchise, appeared in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Seven Dwarfs in this are, the Seven Dwarfs also appeared in Seven Wise Dwarfs, all together, The Winged Scourge, and House of Mouse. Built during World War II, Doc, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress, was named after one of the Seven Disney Dwarfs. Dopey on the emblem for the 341st Bombardment Squadron during World War II in the early 2000s, Disney Toon Studios joined Disney Consumer Products as their internal Disney conglomerate video partner in developing the new Disney franchises. While DCP eyed other potential franchises, Disney Toon looked to the Seven Dwarfs for a male-centric franchise to counterbalance the female-centric Disney fairies. By 2005, the Seven Dwarfs computer animated sequel to Snow White was officially underway. Paul and Gaetan Brizzy was one team that was given an attempt at a movie pitch, which was to follow the dwarfs in which they trapped the villain in the magic mirror and setting it up for Snow White movie. Given the possible demand, Buena Vista Games brought in Obsidian Entertainment, a game developer, who pitched a video game focusing on the dwarf similar ancestors. DTS executives were not feeling that the two franchise launching projects were coming together well enough that they turned to Mike Disa, who worked on the Tinkerbell story. Disa and Evan Spiliotopoulos pitched a Lord of the Rings style epic for the dwarfs while connecting seamlessly with the original film, which was given permission to move forward. With interfering managers wanting a tragic backstory for Dopey, Disa decided that he could not go forward. Walt Disney Animation Studios Chief Creative Officer John Lasseter about two months later ended production on the film. The 7D is an American animated television series produced by Disney Television Animation franchise based on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This series is the first Walt Disney Animation Studios classic series. The TV series details the 7D working for Queen Delightful where they protect Jolly Wood from the glooms and other threats. The Seven Dwarfs were given a new theme park attraction called the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Coaster. In Descendants and Descendants 2, Dopey is shown to have a son named Doug who can talk and become smitten by evil Queen's daughter Evie. In the Descendants novel The Isle of the Lost, Doc is shown to be sympathetic towards the goblins that operate on the Isle of the Lost Goblin Wharf where they won amnesty for their involvement with Maleficent. In Sesame Street, there were different versions of the Seven Dwarfs where each of them was made from anything Muppets. In the Snow White episode of Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics, the Seven Dwarfs are named Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and are shown to be allied with a pack of wolves. In Happily Ever After, it was mentioned that the Seven Dwarfs have opened up a mine in the next kingdom. In their place is the Seven Dwarf Elves who have received a power based on nature to help out their boss Mother Nature. The Dwarf Elves consisted of, the Dwarf Elves helped Snow White on her quest to rescue the prince from the Queen's sorcerer brother Lord Malice. 
The seven dwarves appear in the 1990 Snow White film voiced by Jim Cummings and Rob Paulson. In Happily Ever After, Fairy Tales for Every Child, the show's adaption of Snow White that takes place in the American Southwest depicts the seven dwarves as seven mystical little men who came from the north to mine turquoise. They consist of, the seven dwarfs appear in the Shrek series. In Shrek, the seven dwarfs appear in the first film carrying Snow White's coffin. When they place the coffin on the table, Shrek says oh no 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 no. Dead brought off the table. One of the dwarfs says where else are we supposed to put it? The bed's already been taken. Shrek promptly finds the big bad wolf in his bed. They are seen again at the start of Shrek 2, giving Shrek a ring engraved with I love you in flaming letters for Fiona. In Shrek the third, one of them is given to Fiona as a wedding present from Snow White who says she has six more at home. The seven dwarfs are seen at the end of Scared Shrekless when Shrek and Fiona celebrate by egging them. In Shrek the musical, one of the dwarfs grumpy knew that he abandoned his son Farquaad in the woods as a child after his wife the princess and the pea falls out of 25 mattresses. However, when the fairy tale characters brought Grumpy to Farquaad's wedding, he reveals that he kicked Farquaad out because he was 28 years old and living in his basement. In Mirror Mirror, the seven dwarfs work as highwaymen and rob from anyone that comes down their way by wearing boots with retractable stilts that make them look taller. The seven dwarfs consist of the Seven Dwarfs help Snow White to form a resistance against Queen Clementiana. In the Princesses series by Jim C. Hines, the dwarfs are actually anthropomorphic elemental personifications, summoned by Snow to aid her based on a spell from one of her mother's books. The Seven Dwarfs represent earth, air, fire, water, light, shadow, and magic, although the magic dwarf is essentially a spirit that just inhabits Snow and enhances her power rather than appearing on its own with the others appearing in some form to represent their element. Although powerful fighters that will serve Snow loyally, the consequences of summoning them is that Snow must pay the spirits with seven years of her life. With the result that she appears to be in her mid-thirties when she is really only in her early twenties. As a result, she has only summoned the dwarves twice, initially calling on their aid to help her defeat her mother before the series began, and summoning them again to help her and her allies defeat her mother's spirit in the first book in the series. Duh. In Snow White and the Huntsman, the seven dwarfs started out as eight dwarfs when they are encountered by Snow White and Eric the Huntsman while fleeing Queen Ravenna. The seven dwarfs are, the dwarfs were played by actors without dwarfism who had their faces digitally transmuted onto small bodies, prompting a protest from the little people of America. In the Huntsman, Winter's War, Neon returns where he aids Eric the Huntsman in retrieving the magic mirror which was stolen before it can be sealed away. They are aided by Nyan's half-brother Griff who is a debt collector. In Once Upon a Time, the seven dwarfs are on the side of Snow White and go by their Disney names. There were some other dwarfs that were associated with the seven dwarfs, in the first episode of the final series of The Goodies, The Goodies. Did a story set in a fairy tale world where they replaced three of the seven dwarfs. But they are later found out because of their height. The dwarfs take their names from the Disney film while Graham and Bill renamed themselves to fit in. Only Tim kept his name. The following is a list of names of the seven dwarfs from various adaptations of the Snow White story. Some adaptations do not name the dwarfs, have seven non-dwarfs or omit them altogether. Thanks for watching.